Do you want to learn how to use AI lip sync feature inside Kling AI? Like this example. Hey guys, good morning. What a beautiful day in this forest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. In this video, I help solve that problem. So first head over to Kling AI and inside here you can create an AI image. And then once you have an AI image, you can make a video. So just go to image to video, upload an image here. And in my case, I have already have an image that I got from Kling AI. I animated the video using Kling AI by clicking on generate. Now under the video, you will have lip sync. If you click on this, you will have an option for text to speech. So you can write text here, which is going to be spoken by this character inside the video. And you can choose the voices from here. Let's say I play one of them. Don't worry, sis. I'll help you with your math homework. Let's take it step by step. And also you can change the speech rate so you can make it faster or slower. This is something new which Kling AI has just released. And down here you've got speech rate. So you can select the speed of how it speaks. You can make it, uh, you can make it speak faster if you make it 1.5x. I'm just going to select 1x and then lip sync. It's going to take your five credits. Hey guys, good morning. What a beautiful day in this forest. So the second option we are going to use is the local dubbing option. And inside image to video, I have already put the same image, but this time I added an end frame. So the AI image that I generated, it, took, it gave me three images. Out of those, I used the second image here. And for end frame, it's going, it's going to animate it from this part to this part. And now down here, just selected the same things. But in negative prompt, I added these two only. And now I clicked on generate. So this was the result. Now I will click on redub. And now inside here, you will find these two options again. I'm going to click on upload local dubbing. And here I'm going to put an audio file and make sure that it's under five seconds. Same for the uh, text to speech as well. You need to make sure that the speech time is under five seconds because the video is currently in five seconds. If you make the video 10 seconds, then your speech time should be under 10 seconds. Same for local dubbing. So I used one file which I found on Pixabay. This is pixabay.com slash sound effects. And inside here, I got this one file which, which is under five seconds. This one, commercial pilot. And I download it from here and then I drag and drop it on this. And now let's take a look at the final output. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. So this is how you can use the new AI lip sync feature inside Kling AI. Did this video help solve your problem? Let me know with a like and comment.